You guys have not been clickbait. I am going to trade away 100% IV Pokemon to people. In fact, it was traded away days ago. Alright, I'm just going to show you guys some footage of it. I'll tell you guys why I'm doing it also. So all the footages I'm going to show you guys are actually from the Safari Zone Singapore day 2 and day 3 during the weekends. And I actually met up with a lot of people, a lot of kids who actually wanted to trade with me. So um, there will be some really hard uh, wrenching moments, so I'm sorry if you guys are affected by it. Alright, so hi, hi to all of you guys! So yeah, I was actually at the Safari Zone on day 1, day 2 and day 3. Day 1 was actually my play day, I didn't really have much time to actually trade with anybody. In fact, uh, I did do a few trades with people, I was gold blasting the whole way, I got a total of 15 shinies during day 1 of the event. Day 2 and day 3 I was hanging out with even more people and I added so many people onto my friends list that it became full like in a matter of hours which I'll show you guys later on towards the end of the video. So but let's begin with the very first trade over here. You guys can see I've renamed this Tyranita as BAS. It's actually a Tyranita that has bite and it's a 98% 98% IV man that I'm trading away. So uh, this is a level 40 Tyranita that I traded away because there are people who actually ask me for a Tyranita or a Metagross or a Dragonite, any Pokemon that um, a lot of them do not have. In fact, a, a lot of them are asking me for Pokemon that could register to their Pokedex or so. Uh, including like Togekiss or Weavile etc that you know require Sinnoh Stone to actually be traded. Yep, uh, people whom are just level 35, level 30, you know, they want to register Pokemon to their Pokedex. So I have no choices, so sometimes you know I just have to tell them, say this is my only Tyranita, it's a 98% or in fact a Hando Tyranita which I will show you guys later on that I traded away to quite a number of people. And you know for me, I personally don't really bother about trading away 100% IV level 40 Pokemon anymore, um, especially the ones that are available in the shadow form so hence why trading away all these Pokemon doesn't really hurt me at all. You guys can see this Psyduck, I didn't do the appraisal but the CP is at 474, it's a 100% IV Psyduck and you know just somebody asked me hey do you have a Psyduck for trade? I'm like yeah um, I do and uh, I can trade you this and uh, I have three hundo Psyducks, in fact one of them is a Golduck already so technically four so I decided to trade this away. Yeah, this is not the first time I'm doing this though, trading away 100% IV Pokemon to people. I've done it in the past, I've done it at Chicago Go Fest and some of the other events also. You guys can see this person who traded me this bubble, so rename it as Shando, but it's actually not as Shando, it's not even shiny at all, but yeah, so I'm just going through my storage etc. times when you know people ask me for Tyranita etc. and just trade them away. Um, to people man, you know, I'm just happy to have actually make people happy to actually obtain whatever Pokemon they want to get. A lot of people are asking me for Metagross etc. I would have to evolve the Beldum to Metagross to actually trade to them. So sometimes I'll ask the kids, do you guys uh, want the Beldum or if you guys uh, are okay with Bagon, the first stage evolution of the Pokemon? No, they normally ask me for the last stage evolution Pokemon because they do not have candies to evolve them and I totally understand. Just want to point out this trade though, this particular trade is very interesting. You guys can see the special trade icon has appeared and look at the top right. I'm trading with Enzo and he has no friendship with me at all. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or not, but um, from my understanding, you cannot do a special trade with someone without any friendship. And it was quite puzzling to us. Even showed this screen recording to Trainer Tips Nick and a few of my friends and we were quite puzzled. Is it supposed to be that way? Let me know in the comment section down below, man. So you guys can see this Ratata, so I rename it as Ratata S. And I think this is like my maybe fourth or fifth handle uh, Ratata. And somebody asked me for a Ratata um, as a trade. I'm like, okay, cool. So I know some of you guys might be saying to yourself, hey, why don't I just evolve a Lavita or a Bagon or something to whatever IVs and whatever CP and trade to people? The problem is sometimes I don't have all those Pokemon like a Lavita when I do not have it in my storage and I tell them I'm only left with a Tyranita. It's a 98% or 96% IV. Um, they really want it from me and I just give it away. So it's because of Shadow Pokemon being available already, so hence why I really don't bother about all this and some more. The fact that I've already prepared like two or three level 50 non-Shadow Pokemon for Mega Evolutions in the future for Mega um, Tyranita with Bite and Crunch and also Mega Tyranita with Stone Age and Smackdown, those are already prepared up to level 50. So I must say though, I, it, it was really fun to have been able to trade with a lot of people, but of course sacrifices had to be made. Especially this one you guys can, can see is a 90. 8% level 40 Tyranita and when I did this trade, if I'm not mistaken, is to this particular person It actually retained the same IVC, I actually put it up on Instagram and uh, yeah, it was quite insane man I actually told my friends all around who were standing around us to, to witness the trade and I said, you guys look at this 
15, 14, 15 turned into 15, 14, 15. I mean, that was quite crazy. And then eventually the next trade, I traded to someone, I think a Hando Tyranita. And I was telling him, imagine if it turns into a Hando. So it'd be quite insane though. So this trade actually turned into a lucky and I actually got a 96% Abama Snow, but I'm not too bothered about it. More important is for whoever that wants to get the Pokemon from me to get whatever they want. All right, so i probably run out of all these Pokemon in the future. So I might have to stock up on all those other Pokemon like a Lavita and whatsoever. I normally take all those Pokemon like Lavita, like Bagons, all those small first stage evolution Pokemon to trick to get guaranteed Candy XL. So there was somebody who even asked me for a center hat Pikachu. And I actually have a total of three. One was traded and one is a male Hando. So this is a female Hando and that male Hando is actually a CP uh, level one one if I'm not mistaken. So eventually I told that person I'm willing to trade this away and eventually it turned lucky because it's such an old Pokemon. So another thing though is because of the fact that you know people just want certain Pokemon, just give it to them and you know it makes their day. Hopefully they are happy with it. Some people ask me for Alakazam and this is my only Alakazam that I have that is very low in level but also is a Hando but I really don't need it anymore. Truth being said, um, I technically only need one Hando Alakazam because uh, Mewtwo is way stronger. Shadow Mewtwo is way stronger so hence you know like uh, having more than like I think five or six uh, Hando Alakazams, I think one can be sacrificed away and it actually turned lucky for that person also. So you guys can see I just did a quick IV appraisal here. Um, I mean, if I get a Hando, um, what do you call that? Unowned, it'll be good. If it's not, it's totally fine. So finally, eventually I did the last trade with Enzo. It's a special trade. I actually saved this special trade for him um, after the event or so. And I decided to give him this level 40 uh, Mewtwo that I caught back then in uh, before the pandemic when I went to Taiwan and uh, it was really a fun time when I actually did raids over there. And uh, you guys wouldn't believe it, man. When we did the trade, I did not notice that it was a, lush, you know, a shiny Pikachu. And he traded to me a shiny Pikachu. I told him anything will do. And he traded to me a shiny Pikachu and he turned lucky for the both of us. Really happy for the both of us. His, his was 96% if I'm not mistaken. All right. But that is that, you know, like uh, literally trading away 100% IV Pokemon uh, to people. Um, that's the things that sometimes I would do. And uh, why didn't I remove this clip? Let's just see the balloon hanging out over there, man. Shiny Pikachu and uh, the IVs in to go. Okay, at this point of time, I was just talking to Enzo and his father, just uh, thanking them for their time spent with us at the Safari Zone. All right, so um, I'm gonna bring my screen up now, though, to show you guys um, what has kind of gone down. All right, so like I said, I kind of don't bother about <clears throat> um, all these Pokemon anymore, not because I really, really don't care about them and really think that they are totally nothing they are worth something they are worth something for people who do not have it at all that i totally understand however i've always emphasized that i always go for shadow pokemon now so in fact if you take a look at my storage i have shadow tyranitas these are all maxed out to level 50 already they are all stronger than all those pokemon that i've traded away so in a way i am kind of willing to sacrifice to trade all these pokemon away if even if you talk about shadow a uh, dragon i would actually would like to get a uh, dragonite and in fact a uh, bagon's salamence in the future which will be stronger than those that i've just traded away even for metagross like for example shadow metagross for those of you who have been watching my videos a lot i have a total of five maxed out um, Shadow Metagross up to level 50 I still have enough XL candy to max them up and uh, even if the IVs are 0, 0, 0 it's still going to be stronger than a Hundo you know level 50 uh, non-Shadow Metagross so hence why I rather invest my uh, resources onto Shadow Pokemon so if you talk about like like I said people who were added onto my friends list in the last few days in fact it was like around a week ago that we started at, I started adding people at the Safari Zone again um, I had to remove a lot of my friends, alright, so I actually had a total of like 120 best friends um, last Friday and I had to remove over 100 of them to make room for people. So normally, you know, I'll keep some of them and I had to remove even Fleece King and even remove uh, Auntie Gladys eventually add them back for trades and then I'm going to remove them again. But yeah, 13 of them are still left on my friends list but I need to make room for more people who would like to be added in the future. As for people who were added in the last few days though, um, well, let's go ahead to type H, uh, friend level 0, 2, 2, alright, that will show people who are either no friendship or good friend or great friend with you because there have been some people who have hit great friends with me. Yeah, I'm just going to scroll through and you guys can see we have a total of 193 people on the list. Uh, some people were not added 
like at the safari zone itself but outside and in fact uh, contacts through my friends like Auntie Gladys and Anne normally they'll be the one who will refer uh, friends to me and be reminded to be added some of them will message me or so but yeah it was really insane to have been able to add like a lot of people I would dare say I probably added around 120 to 130 people uh, during the safari zone in fact on day two it was like a hundred new people on my friends list and it was so crazy that I had to remove people add people remove people add people you know it's just part of the fun and it's really really good to be able to do that but at the same time I do appreciate that um, a lot of people are like asking me to be to do this you know and I hope that a lot of people actually are happy with the traits that they actually get from me and hopefully in the future for those of you who would like to um, you know, um, I guess uh, receive a Pokemon from me. I mean a lot of people have been messaging me, can you do a trade? Some people even wanted to come to, 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 to me virtually, I do not want to say what it is but they want to do a trade but I don't want to do that. If you want to add me as friend, the only way is actually to meet me in person or to get a referral from a friend whom I already uh, know or trust for a very long time. Uh, otherwise, you just have to wait for an event that I'll be heading towards to actually meet me and that's where we can actually uh, add as friend if my friends list ain't full. By the way, fun fact for you guys, uh, 400 friends is the maximum number of friends you can have on your friends list, so hence why I'm capped out already. All right, I normally keep just 398 to have two slots to trade with people just in case I meet people like at an event or whatsoever, but clearly I need to start clearing people. Maybe removing Auntie Gladys again. Yep, oops. Alright, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video of me uh, sharing this with you guys. Hopefully you guys won't feel so hard pain seeing a 100% IV Pokemon being traded away. But truth being said, think about this. It's not your Pokemon, it's my Pokemon. It's someone else's Pokemon. So whether is it going to get traded away or not, it doesn't really matter for, I guess, yourself. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on the video. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next episode in the next video. Alright, goodbye, goodbye, good bye.